Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be working on this paper rose bouquet that I made for Valentine's Day. And we're going to be making everything you see here from the bouquet, the roses, the leaves, and the butterflies. Why buy your own flowers if you can make your own flowers completely free? So if you guys are ready to learn how I did this, please keep watching and let's get started. Here on the Facebook group, somebody was nice enough to share the bouquet image of the outlines and this is not an SVG, it is just an image. So I'm going to show you guys how to add like scoring lines and all these tools so you can make it into an actual SVG. We're going to do that with both of these images and hopefully create a nice free <laughs> SVG bouquet for Valentine's Day. And so I'm just going to go and save them as images here. And then I named them bouquet one and two. And I will have these images up on my Facebook page. So if you want to use these exact same ones, um, they'll be available for you to just save and download just as I did. Next, we're going into Cricut Design Space and opening up a new project. First, we're going to upload our first page. And here, I'm just going to select Complex and Continue. And here's where I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So in more options, I'm just going to change it to maybe 30. Um, once I increase the tolerance, um, there's still spikes here and we don't want that. So go back and just try again, maybe a little higher. Here, my tolerance is at 45 and we can see here the lines are a lot more clear and that's actually what we want. So I think I'm just going to leave it at 45. Um, but I don't need these words right here. So I'm just going to go into my erase tool and delete that part. These pieces are actually exactly the same. Um, and the instructions, it says that I will need six of these pieces. Uh, so I think it has two just um, so you could fit in your page like this, but um, it's going to make it difficult to have both of them in my image. So I'm just gonna delete one of them with my erase tool like this. And so we have our first image. We're going to apply and continue and save as a print and cut image. And then just do the same thing to the next one. Now that I have both images, I'm going to add them to my canvas. And starting off with this one, um, you can just switch them over to a basic cut here. Um, and then just cut it out and then do all the folds and everything yourself. That's up to you. But the reason I left them as a print and cut image is so I could see here where the score lines are so I can add them myself. So I'm going to rotate this just so I can make it bigger um, so I can see it better on my screen. Next here in the shapes, I'm going to select the line, which is a score line. And I'm just going to be adding it to where those lines are right there. And now I'm just gonna duplicate the score line and put it on the other side. And this is definitely not gonna be perfect. Um, there's gonna be some not so pretty edges, but it is going to be free. So um, it's up to you if you wanna use this. Um, but I just thought I'd give this a shot real quick. So let's continue. I'm just going to duplicate the line again. And now I want to do this one right here. So I'm just going to rotate it real quick. And sorry if the score lines are hard to see, um, but you can see when I click on them, they're starting to appear. Okay, next line, this one right here. I'm just going to be repeating the same steps and like duplicating my score line and just trying to add it the best I can over here. And here we are, I think I've added them. And if I had my image, you can see here, this is where the score lines are placed, right on top of my bouquet. Now we can go in and this is still a print and cut image. Now we're gonna select a basic cut. And so now we have our score lines and we have our bouquet. Now we need to make sure that doesn't move. So select everything and hit attach. And once you hit attach, this is how it's going to cut out and then score. Um, make sure you're not grouping because if you group, it's not going to do anything. Um, it's going to do it separately. You need to be attaching this. 
Okay, so once this is done, um, we're not caring about the size right now. We just want to get the score lines on. So we're just going to put that away for now and bring our next image, which was this one right here. And I think I could have done what I did with the first image because I think the only difference here is the size. This one is five by five and this one is 9.5 by 9.5. Uh, but since I already have this one here and I can't um, really do anything about it, I'm just going to be slicing it out. So I'm just going to enter a circle and just slice it out real quick. You can just also upload it and just delete this piece, but um, I don't know, this is easier for now. And again, you can see here, so these lines are where the score lines are supposed to be and across. So I'm just going to be adding all the score lines for now. And so once you have all your score lines, we're just going to go into our shape and change it from a printing cut to a basic cut. And this is where the color changes. But from here, all we have to do is just select everything and attach again. And now we have our second image. Okay, and so now that we have our two shapes and our score lines are on, we are going to start worrying about the sizes. And this one here is supposed to measure 11 inches in height. So I'm just going to change it up here. Um, that easy. This one is supposed to be 9.5 by 9.5. Now I'm just going to duplicate it and then its little buddy was supposed to be 5 by 5. So just like this. And I needed six of these pieces so we can just duplicate a few more pieces here. So this is the bouquet part, um, but of course we're going to have to add something on it. Uh, you can just do silk roses or you can just put chocolates, up to you. Um, I want to put some paper flowers, so I'll be cutting those with my Cricut as well. I already have um, the template saved, but if you need it, it's also on my Facebook. Here on my Facebook page, I have shared a lot of things. Um, here is a butterfly you can use. I've used this many times, as well as the roses that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is already uploaded to my Cricut, so this is the exact image I'm going to be using. But I have also shared um, this one that I like to use inside of some other flowers, and this, of course, are more flowers you can use. And these you can cut out along with your flower bouquet, or you can cut out um, separately. Um, I'll probably do it separately, so I'm just going to be doing this for now, and then I'll come back to the roses. Since I don't have the 12 by 12 cardstock, I only have the paper size 8.5 by 11. I am pre-making my pages, so I entered a square or a rectangle that's the size of my page. And once I hover over them and see that they fit, I just select both and hit attach. And once they're attached, they're going to cut together. So I'm going to do that to my other two pages. And now these pages are also attached. This one right here was nine and a half and we know our page is eight and a half so that's not going to work um but what i see is that these flaps right here is what's making it um kind of you know bigger without it really needing to um these flaps are only made to like hold it together so i think if we cut these a little it'll be okay so so now i'm just going to go over and make it and here we have our pages um you can change this to your paper size uh but since it's so close to the 11 and a half mark um, it's probably not going to let you, uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to eyeball it and hope for the best. So um, just make sure that you're placing your page correctly. So this one would be portrait and then this one would be landscape. And then just go through, uh, make sure that your page is going to align with the mat that you're cutting. And like always, I'm just going to use my light guard stock. But I do like to use more pressure sometimes because it does get a better cut. Here on my tool option, I am switching over to the scoring stylus just because I don't have the wheel. But I do prefer using the stylus just because I don't have to be switching back and forth between tools. Since um, the scoring wheel and the blade go in the same clamp, um, the scoring stylus goes in clamp A. So then I can keep this blade in um, clamp B. So then there's no switching back and forth. So um, I like using the stylus. So I'm just going to switch over to this one. Apply and we can continue. And here I have loaded on my cardstock and the Cricut begins by using the stylus first 
and it just marks down the score lines where they're supposed to go. And so when it's done with the score lines, it just begins cutting and there's no need to change tools. So here for my roses, I'm back on Crooked Design Space and I did open a new canvas. I just thought it'd be easier than um, to have everything. So I'm gonna enter the rectangle the size of my paper. And I like doing this so I can make sure that I take advantage of all the space that I have. So right here, it looks like our flowers can be as big as 5.7 inches. Uh, so once you have this, this is your pre-made page. So we're just gonna deselect that attach so the Cricut knows that you want this to be cut together and so now we go over to make it and here we're going to put our page portrait style like it's telling you on the mat and we can cut our 14 roses And this is my favorite way to roll my roses and I just take a power drill and a bobby pin and I like to start off by just getting my tweezers and trying to flatten out my bobby pin just like this and now we're just going to put it back in and tighten it. And once it's tightened we're good to go we just grab our flower and begin rolling. Make sure you go really slow at first this is playing in real time. Um, try not to rip your rose because if you go too fast that can happen. And just take your time with this. As you get more comfortable with it, you begin to get faster and faster. And once I get to the end of my rows, I like to just wrap around with my fingers and then just press it tightly. Uh, grab that last little ball uh, and fold it back. That's what we're going to be gluing down with our hot glue. Um, and now once everything is nice and tight, just release it. And let it relax slowly so you're able to pull it off the bobby pin. And once you have your rose, just continue letting it relax. We want to make sure that it's not too tight. Uh, but once you're happy with the shape, you're just going to take your glue and glue it in the back. And so then we have our rose. And if you don't have a power drill, that is okay. We're just going to take some tweezers, make sure they're sharp like this, and just start at the end of your rows and just grab it and begin rolling it. And this is going to take longer. I am fast forwarding here, but you do end up with the same results. So as a bonus detail, you can also add some butterflies. And um, this one right here is the one that I have on my Facebook page, I believe. But I wanted to go with one more like a monarch butterfly, not just all this swirls. So I picked this one, which is also right here. All I did was type in butterfly SVG outline on Google Images, and I was able to get here really quickly. Um, so I like this one, and I'm just going to be saving it to my computer. And I also wanted some leaves, um, but I do have some save that I can use in my computer already. Here is my Facebook page. And if I go in my photos, we can see here I have shared the leaves that I will be using, um, these right here. Here I am on Cricut Design Space and I have opened up a new canvas. First, I'm just going to upload my butterfly that I just saved. And we're going to be clearing it up here. and just pressing on all the little white areas. Okay, so this looks good. I'm not gonna take these out um, because I am gonna do paper and um, I don't want these lines to be too thin. So then our image will look like this and we can apply, continue and save as a cut image. And now we can add it to our canvas. For the leaves, um, you would do the same if you save it from my Facebook page, but since I already have it saved in my uh, Cricut Design Space, I'm just going to be adding it to my canvas. And I want very small butterflies, so I'm going to make them about one and a half inches. 
Um, but I do want like some small and some big. So I'm going to make another one that's like a little bit bigger, two inches. And for my leaves as well, I don't want them to be too big. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave it at one and a half inches tall. I think that should be okay. And so now we just got to pretty much decide how much of this we want. Um, so I'm just going to duplicate these. You can do this whatever color you want, um, but I do want to make the butterflies maybe like a gold color. And I think the leaves would also be cool if they're gold. Um, it'll just give, you know, like a big pop of uh, color. So you can do them green if you want or whatever color you want, but all of this for me is going to be gold. And I decided I also wanted to add a bow on the side of it. And here I went over to images and just typed in bow um, and selected the free filter. And you can see here Cricut does provide a free bow we can use. And so I just click on this one and add to my canvas. And here I am going to ungroup it first. And this is the part that goes like in the middle of the bow. These two flaps fold over in the inside. And this is what goes behind it. Um, but I didn't want this to just be out like that. I wanted it to fall down nicely. So I'm going back in my images and so like this one right here, this is what I'm talking about, those little flaps that go down. Add to my canvas. And basically, I just need to cut off the top here. So I'm just going to go in my shapes and slice this out. So we can delete this part. And this, if you go into contours, we can get rid of the sides and just have these flaps. I just need to connect these two pieces a little bit better. So I'll be just connecting them a little bit with this shape. And now to hold them together, I'm going to be combining them in weld. And now it's just going to stay in one shape. So right now my bow is measuring um, 6.8 in length so i'm not really sure what size bow that's gonna make um it's gonna be a trial and error for me like you know everything um but we'll see if that works and then i'll let you guys know what size is better and so now i'm just gonna go over to make it and here is what my pages are going to look like and so i'll just cut these real quick and then we can finish our project and this is the foil cardstock i use i get it from michael's this one's the silver one um but i am using the gold one today since we did get this templates from an image um that wasn't that perfect i am gonna cut a little bit here just to make sure that these lines are meeting the score lines and that way they uh, bend a little better. Same for this right here. You can see how the score line's right here, but this is not cut all the way through. So I'm just gonna go through and fix that real quick. And now we're just gonna be following the lines and creasing down. just like this. And now that I have all my stuff pre-folded, I'm going to use this glue right here. And I always like to use this one. Um, I feel like it does really well with cardstock. Um, and I'm just gonna put everything together. And so now we have our pieces together. Um, it's all hollow in the inside here. So these pieces right here, I'm going to start off by just putting them together. And that's just going to be by adding a little bit of glue inside here. And then just, you know, gluing them down all the way around. 
and this is the 5x5 five five piece and I was looking through YouTube and it looks like this piece is supposed to fit inside here but as you can see the hole in there is very small compared to this so I don't know why it told me to make that size um, it does kind of fit in the bottom here but it looks very awkward I'm not sure it was supposed to be in the bottom I'm not really sure if I'm even going to use this piece after all um, I did actually cut out a smaller piece. This one is 2.8 by 2.8. It's a lot smaller compared to the 5x5, five five, but it does fit inside the hole there. The smaller piece, the one that's 2.8 by 2.8, does fit in there like it looks like it's supposed to. So if you really want that piece, that's the size that you're going to have to make. And I just used some hot glue to help it stay, but you can also just use regular glue. Uh, but now I think that's just helping support this part right here. The bigger piece was okay. I did kind of just overlap these a little bit more than where the crease was just so it can curve in a little bit better um, and not just be straight out. And I feel like that way it kind of fits better inside here, just like this. Um, my bow is right here and I can just put it together real quick. I think you basically just have to, you know, join the two centers in the middle. Here I just cut a piece of cardstock and I'm going to use it to wrap it around here um, of the base of the bouquet. If you guys wanted to use ribbon or something else, go ahead, but I think this would be fine. And now I'm just going to glue the flowers. And so here I have my bouquet of paper flowers. Um, I glued everything down and added my leaves and my butterflies. I did use one small and two of the bigger um, butterflies, but this is what we have and it's all glued and secured. So now I'm just gonna be adding it to my bouquet. I'm just gonna let this dry so hopefully it glues together and we are done with our project. If you want to customize it further, you can also add some words in the front here. You can cover it, I don't know, maybe in tissue paper to make it look prettier. Um, it's up to you. You can also change some of these flowers for those Ferrero Rocher chocolates. That would be a cool option. Instead of roses, you would just put the chocolates. Like you could do half chocolates, half roses, or like a mixture. That looks really good too. The bow, we cut it out at 6.8 inches and that I think looks pretty good here. Uh, the band here, I just cut up a strip of paper and glued it. I didn't really measure or anything, but it's there now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.